Brands Digital change the fundamentals between brands and consumers? I thought about three specifics. Um, two which are specific to consumer and one which is more about pure brand. The first one which I think is the most obvious and, and particularly relevant in South Africa if you look at you know, 20 years of democracy right now um, is the fact that it's made this global village one. Um, and the fact that particularly we as South Africans who 20 years ago didn't have access to many, many brands and to a lot of information um, that we suddenly now do have. So, you know, being, being in contact and having access to global brands is a, has become a hygiene factor. Um, and being able to access content that previously we may never have never had access to in the past has become seamless. So I think that this digital world has supported this globalization, um, which means McDonald's, KFC, All Star, Converse, you know, they're, they're just part of our everyday lives, which, you know, again, going back to South Africa, wasn't the case 20 years ago. So I think that's one interesting part. And there's a side of me that finds that sad. <laughs> the, the, the dichotomy to that, however, is that, um, and I think particularly social, has uh, started to promote the creation of these hyper-local communities. Um, I'm a big fan of craft beer, um, and, a bi and I'm a big fan of craft markets, and I, and I think I'm not alone, and, you, and you're tending to find that more and more uh, there's a reaction to the mass mall type consumption environment to going to a local market and buying your fresh produce. Um, and the digital world is, is a fantastic environment for these people to promote themselves, uh, through from creating a community to support, and even down to things like payment. And I suppose then the, the last one, which is more about a brand's relationship with consumers, um, is this tendency, I think, for brands to over-listen to their consumers. Which you might find bizarre, because you know, we, we look at the conference today, people are talking about big data and finding more and more deep insights. I worry sometimes that brands listen to the consumer who shouts the loudest too much, and not what they know about their brand and what they stand for. Um, and then they can all become vanilla, you know, and you know, they, they're just reacting to what consumers are telling them in social media and reviewing platforms. And sometimes you do need to ignore that. How do you see us moving forward in terms of agencies, digital agencies? I think we have some fantastic talent in South Africa. Um, you know, there's been uh, a lot of corporate activity in the last 12 months with companies being bought out by yes. global networks, of which we are one of those. Um, and I think that you know, the, the local South African agency should be very, very proud of that. A, a local economy looks to attract direct investment from yes. abroad, and these agencies are doing so well that foreign investors have decided to invest in South Africa. And that can only talk to the talent that's here. So I think um, the future is bright for South African agencies, and particularly digital agencies. Um, but we deal with more challenges often than the Europeans because we have high connectivity issues and we've had to make plans around those issues. So um, I'm very optimistic about both the agencies and the talent in South Africa.